same one no? uh, circular lamina but this is one of the important here it is a major axis and minor axis problem see major axis and major axis and minor axis problem see this is a one of the important problem in the cat and circular lamina see here read the problem carefully circular lamina inclined to vp appears in the front view as an ellipse of major axis so there is a one major axis diameter third 30 mm and minor axis is 15 mm the major axis is parallel to both the plane both hp and vp one end of the minor axis is in both hp and vp so draw the projection of the lamina and determine the inclination of the lamina with vp see here where you want to place the lamina that is very important okay here they are not given even any inclined to hp and inclined to vp angle so they simply said that major axis in the front view the major axis is look like a minor axis 15 mm okay but the major axis is parallel to both the plane and one end of the minor axis is in both hp and vp see if you want to make it parallel both hp and vp so you have to rotate and place here but before that how to place the first position that is a very important thing okay so first position they said that one important thing one end of the minor axis is in both hp and vp see if you want to make if you want to satisfy this condition you want it to place major axis on xy line okay the one end of the major axis should touch xy line then only you will get minor axis is on xy line okay or else you will not get thing and one more thing you want to understand here they said that inclination of lamina with vp you have to find out the inclination of lamina with vp see if you want to find out inclination angle with vp and that to surface of lamina inclined to vp you wanted to place the lamina in vp okay if you place lamina in hp you can't able to find out lamina you know inclination lamina with vp okay so this is this thing you have to keep it in mind okay if the you know, here they given inclination of lamina with vp so you have to find place the lamina on vp only okay but that should touch the xy line Okay, so here to draw this, you can construct first 30 mm diameter, then you can draw x y line, or else you draw x y line, and similarly you construct circle. Okay, so I have drawn x y line, so I am taking a 30 mm is given, so I'll take 15 mm radius. I'll take 15 mm radius. So I'll make a plan so that one end of the circle should touch x y line. So now it is touching x y line. So we draw circle. Okay, so draw circle. Okay, so here this is a circle, and in the front view it look like a ellipse in the major axis, minor axis. Okay, so divide this into a four parts. Only four part is enough. Okay, divide this into a four parts. Okay, so do the naming. So it is in since it is a in a VP, so it is a front view. I take A dash, B dash, C dash, and D dash. Okay, draw projection line downward. So I'll take it on X Y line only. I'll take it on X Y line. So this is your A. So you're looking from front of an object. So D is visible, B is not visible. So we'll take it in bracket and C. Okay. So show the dimension. So this is your diameter is 30 mm. So this is major axis. Okay. So next C. The circular lamina inclined to VP appears in the front view as an ellipse of major axis. So, if you incline this to a VP, this major axis look like an ellipse in the front view. So, to construct ellipse, I'll draw one straight line. So, I'll draw one straight line here. Okay, I'll draw one straight line. Okay, now ellipse means same, you know, height, but the You know this thing. You know the width is changing. So here they given 15 mm. So what I'll do? I'll from this point I'll take 7.5 this side and 7.5 this side. 15 mm divided by two will get 7.5. 7.5. Okay. So 7.5. Okay, na? 
five, seven, and seven point five. See, we've taken this, and then similarly, we take it from this side, seven point five, exactly seven point five. Okay, so from this seven point five, again you draw a straight line, downward line. Okay, so after that, you draw one straight line from this side. Okay, again straight line from the center. Okay, now so do the naming. So this is your B dash, and this is your C dash, and this is your D dash, and this is your E dash. Okay, so I draw ellipse for this. Okay, so how to draw ellipse? Ellipse is look like a small, you know, egg, right? So we have to draw like that. Okay, so it's a free end sketch. Okay, so this is the ellipse, and it is a minor axis. Okay, so now we wanted to find out the inclination angle. So at which this angle, the major axis look like a minor axis in the front view. That you wanted to find out. So for that, I'll extend this line in with infinite distance. Okay, and this point is your A point. Okay, so I'll measure from A to C. I'll measure from A to C. Then from A, I'll cut an arc. Okay, this is your point C. Then we'll draw on straight line. We'll draw on straight line. Okay, and then I'll extend this line to downward. Okay, this is your D dash, and this is your V dash. So this angle we wanted to find out. This is the inclination with V P angle. So. Find out this angle. It's around uh, between 55 and 56. Okay, we'll get around 55 and 58. We'll get so we get 58 degree. Okay, so here you write inclination with VP. Inclination with VP is 58 degree. Okay, so this draw one box for this. Okay, so next you wanted to make parallel. Okay, so means see major axis is parallel to both HP and VP. Okay, so to make it parallel, you place this so major axis is on X Y line. Means it make B and D dash is parallel to X Y line. So to make it B and D dash to make it parallel to X Y line, you have to place C dash or A dash is on X Y line. So I'll take. Resting position A R C. Okay, I'll take C is on X Y line. So I'll take C. How to take C? Again, you do naming for this. Okay, box one, two, three, and four. Okay, I'll take two and three on X Y line. So measure two and three. Measure two and three. So I'll measure and I'll place it on X Y line. Okay. This is your two and three, right? So this is your two, and this is your three. Then we draw straight line upward. Okay. So next, I'll measure from two to one. Okay. This will be equal to three to four. So two to one. Next, three to four. Okay. So this is if you rotate like this, we get one, and here we get four. So join the line. Okay. So after that, the next point is you measure two to C. Okay. The same distance is one to A. So two to C. Two to C. Then one to A. Okay. So this is your what? C dash and this is your what? A dash. So similarly, I'll measure from two to B dash. So two to B dash and similarly, it is equal to three to D dash. So I'll take three to D dash. So this is your B dash and this is your D dash. Okay. So draw a line. Very thin line. 
okay and complete the profile here Profile. Okay, so next is draw projection line downward. Okay, draw projection line downward. See, this is D right. So from here, we draw line. Okay, and this is your uh, B, and this is your D. So here you will get A. Okay, next you want to place C. So this is your C. Okay. So now join A B C. Now join A B C. C. Now you can say that major axis is parallel to both the planes. See, this is a major axis is parallel to both H P V P. H P V P. Okay. This completes the problem. Okay. Thank you.